Alex Fraser take in concrete, tiles, brick, asphalt and glass and recycle them and turn them into construction materials that are used in the market in Melbourne and Brisbane every day. We know we can supply them a recycled product and we know now ahead of time that we can recycle that product again and again. In our high recycled content asphalt products, we see some great technical properties. For example, higher durability, which means when you lay them on the road, we get a longer life from the product. With our recycled concrete road-based products, we get greater compaction, and because of the lighter weight of the product, we can carry more of it in the trucks, which means that there's a lower CO2 impact from the transport of the product. To develop our products, we firstly work very closely with the customers. What do they need to build the infrastructure they're building? and then with the regulators in terms of what are the specifications that would support that. We did an enormous amount of research to make sure that we could produce a consistent product for every project. What happens to the products at the end of the life? Well, that's the good thing about it is we haven't got to the end of the life because the products are indefinitely recyclable. We take them, we process them, we sell them back into the market. At the end of that, we can take them, process them again and use them again to sell back into the market. In terms of using recycled content in infrastructure, Australia compares pretty well globally. And so we've been able to compare what people do overseas with what we do here. We secure equipment from overseas. The exciting part is some of what we design and build right here in Australia. We can do remaining life analysis on a pavement that was built with recycled content in Melbourne or Brisbane 30 years ago. So we've demonstrated we can take a material and turn it into a very consistent end product and do it on a massive scale. The future of recycling is extremely bright. We're starting to explore on many different fronts what other streams of waste could be turned into viable products and then what in our existing suite of products could be used for other purposes. I think the exciting thing is that people are starting to look to do something other than what they've always done. So there's genuine interest in the circular economy. If we're disposing of a material, there's a genuine interest in where it's going to and how it can be reused.